Hi guys and welcome back to another episode with Drone Mesh. So today we're going to be making a overview video of the Liz Arm C. I don't know how to pronounce the name. So we're going to be making an overview video because I'm preparing all the quads right now to be tested tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to quickly go over some of the specs and go over some of the things that I've noticing a trend on on the latest Chinese pre-built quadcopters. I mean the cheaper versions not like the diatone versions so let's quickly get into this first of all it's using uh kind of the clone of the db quad obsession or the jeb rc lx5 so it's using that kind of frame style but they did a little they added a little twist to it which they used vertical arms instead so that's one thing to take note of here and um what they, this is a five inch quadcopter obviously the aluminum seems pretty good. I tried to bend it. It was pretty good. Um, I tried to even tighten the screws a little bit more than usual. It held up pretty fine. So that's a good sign from the beginning. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, the motors are rebranded motors from, I don't know what company, but I, I really can't tell. But they're, they're, they are the naked bottom or bottomless motors. They're 2306, 2700 kV. So in theory, if it's the theoretical 2600 kV it's rated for, it's going to be pretty fast actually. So that's very nice to see. However, 2306, not really liking the 2306 motors anymore. I'm really like, I really want to drop down 2207s because they just feel better. So that's one thing. Uh, they're using counterclockwise and clockwise motor screws. This really doesn't matter. And it kind of loses a lot of people here. It does not matter nowadays, especially with these self-locking nuts. You know, if you could find like, for example, you could find Razor Star counterclockwise and clockwise and new people in this hobby still getting mixed up. Uh, just get them all clockwise or counterclockwise. You're going to be totally fine. You don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. This was because we had a different kind of uh, connector here, which used to held the propellers in place, which was not very sturdy. And it would actually undo itself when you break very fast. It was, yeah, it was terrible. Anyways, so that's one thing. Now, let's jump to the ESC. The ESC here is, this is the trend that I'm noticing lately. So I'm guessing, and I'm pretty sure that my guess is pretty correct here. Airbot is trying to get rid of their first generation of BL Heli S4 and 1 ESCs. They're called the Typhoon ESCs. And these were very noisy. I've tested them and I never really liked them. And now, you know, I think they just wanted to get rid of stock. So they were selling them for absolute cheap. So all these little, you know, quadcopter manufacturers or pre-built quad new new brands coming out are purchasing a ton load of it for probably absolutely cheap and they're just sticking them on so this is this is the second quad i've gotten uh from the latest releases of these little cheap ones this one's actually not even considered cheap it's around 200 bucks it's using the typhoon so it's a pretty noisy esc so take that into consideration now, i don't know how this will perform but we'll see once we go take it out tomorrow so as you can tell here they already pimped it out with some leds so you get some rgb leds and you get your buzzer so it's very nice to see i really like that they give you an antenna and just like i said it comes fr sky and plug and play plug and play which means it doesn't come with a receiver you have to bring your own receiver now the flight controller using they're using an f4 flight control which is nice to see because the latest one that i just reviewed was using an actual f3 flight controller so this is already a f4 flight controller which is nice it's the latest trend it's what's working right now to handle all these new options that are coming into beta flight such as the filters and stuff now it does also have osd and the vtx is actually built in that's why it's such a clean small stack here um it's very nice to see and they added this little foam to kind of keep the uh uh receiver the just kind of separated away so you don't get any interference or just shorting out in any sort of way which is also very good and very well thought out um as you can tell here it's pretty empty look at it the stack is very clean but, you know, I'm really, I really do not like seeing VTXs built into the flight controllers. Sometimes they're good. It's usually hit and miss. And a lot of people miss this. So hopefully this will be one of those hits. And we'll see how well that's going to perform. However, the SMA port, when I received it, it's not really tightened down. It's very loose. So you're going to have to just double check this and tighten it yourself. Let's just double check this here. As you can tell here, I'm spinning the thing. But the whole thing is spinning. It's because it's, it's not tightened down. So this is not tightened down. It's pretty loose. So this is what I was talking about. Always check your standoffs on these pre-built quads and anything that needs tightening. Because sometimes the, the, the employees get kind of lazy. And uh, this is what happens. You know, he just quickly puts it on. Okay, it seems good. And just move to the next one. Maybe he has a, a target per day to make or something. I don't know how that works. But, you know, it's it's theoretically re possible. Um so in reality, I mean, that's what that's that's what makes sense to me, actually. So they're using a camera and it's using a 2.5 millimeter lens, which is very nice. It's it's not IR blocked, so it does take an IR. 
But the thing is, I think this is a CMOS camera. It's one of those Chinese ones with the OSD that's right there. You can control the OSD through right here. It's very nice ease of access. So if you wanted to change some of the settings, you can. Now, I don't know, like I said, if it's a CMOS or a CCD, but I'm guessing it's a CMOS. But we'll probably be able to figure it out through the flight footage. If not, then we're going to have to possibly take it apart and figure it out because they're not stating anything about this camera. And um, overall, it looks pretty well solidly built i mean all of these little pre-built chinese quadcopters now are coming you know with very good build quality which i really like to see so let's just quickly get its weight here because i think the weight is very important so it's 311 grams it's not bad for a five inch i mean it's most five inches are like this and some of the things that it comes with i forgot to mention we get two battery straps an anti-slip pad here so you get two proper battery straps at least and they do give you these, uh, I think these are gem fans again. Yeah, they're gem fans, but they don't have the packaging for some reason. They're the 5042 gem fans. So these are 5 inch props. They're not 5.1 inch. So both of them, you get two sets of these. They come in clear, as you can tell right here. And uh, some stickers. So if you wanted to put some stickers on, you can go ahead and do that. But I, I wouldn't put those stickers on. And you get your VTX antenna, which is very nice. This is not going to be hitting your propellers anytime soon. But make sure, like I mentioned, you tighten up that RXA, the, uh, the SMA port right there. And um, yeah, it's um, it's very interesting to see. And I think that's all I could really say about it right now, guys. I'm going to have to take it out and see for a flight, which is tomorrow is my flight day. I'm going to take out a lot of quads I still need to fly. But I'm going to do these first because maybe I can give some away and stuff so I can get that out of the way. I have the Jeb R Sparrow V2 giveaway coming up. If you missed it, uh, go ahead check the videos built, built, um, in the past couple videos back. Uh, this one and then the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and fly those. And also the Frog 6 inch that we just recently built with the Dell RC stack with the Racer Star Sporg motors. These are the new cheap motors. Uh, <clears throat> they come like five for 42 bucks and I got the 2207-2400 kV. So that's going to be pretty interesting there. And um, that's it guys. So we're going to go ahead and wait until tomorrow morning. Hopefully there's no thunderstorms and I'm going to go flying and uh, I'll report back. And that's going to include it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this channel. Help keep everything going. Plus you get awesome giveaways and awesome extra stuff here and there. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and check out the Patreon down below. And um, yeah, you could also check out my shop. I have this crazy drone mesh starter pack which comes with the Dal RC F405 AIO Fly Color NMA Take VTX. Cheaper than anywhere online. Plus this is the perfect bundle to get started with whether it's a premium or a budget quad. It is one of the best setups you could possibly purchase for the money at the current moment of time. I took the best of the best from all the testing I've done. And uh, we'll be building that bundle very soon so you can see it for your eyes also. So I'll leave a link to everything down below. You could always use them. Check out the shop. If you are a Patreon, you get secret access, which you could see stuff that and get discounts that, you know, public access can't see. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.